goes for what he feels is right. And Nitro, he's got a he's got a pull of characters as well, so it'll be definitely interesting. Hopefully Nitro, he might start off with Joker. I do believe he likes to start off the matches with a Joker. As interesting as that sounds, a lot of Belmont players have been uh, kind of avoiding him. Yeah, he's just been abandoned a few times. We saw guys like, even here in SoCal, T3 Dome having his own doubts about the character, but we do see the Belmont coming out. Richter will be first up against Shock's Palutena. Yeah, it could spell trouble for Nitro, though. Palutena is able to really close the gap and does have a reflector of herself, and that Nair demands so much respect and is able to get those edge guards as well. A lot of information coming out of my mouth, but that's exactly what you got to be careful of. But Nitro, he's no sleeper on this pick. He is not number 10 in SoCal and has the talent to match, but Shog one of the best in Mexico as well, so this is a certainly formidable matchup. He's actually able to get clipped up by everything. Here comes Shock catching on everything that Nitro's trying to get out, and he actually tried to use the win box of the fa of the M Smash to give out Nitro's stock, but here we go, trapped in the ledge. Nitro already feeling the pressure, and Chuck just, oh my god, he missed the grab right there, but it, it was so patiently played, and great job by Nitro, catching out a little bit of that damage. Yeah, if there's one thing Nitro's gonna wanna do, especially within this matchup, it's tether back to the ledge. Shog is an aficionado of just two-framing with down tilt, and as many different tools, but he falls into the holy water setup. Mm -hmm. He's unable to find anything. He actually used that war, but way too late. He went for the counter. And the Holy Water was already long gone. He's gonna go for a down throw back here, confirm forcing Nitro off, but Nitro happily is able to recover, but can he get away from it? He Thankfully he does this time, and he went for an empty hop. Chaga was expecting the back here to come, but this time Nitro doing a really good job, and up special, out of, up, B out of shield, not able to find anything. Yeah, after Shog's quick mental error, still playing this very well, only has taken 17% so far, and that explosive flame was milliseconds away from connecting. Here comes the aerials, and he's finally able to catch up. Trying to use that down, I think Chog's trying to use that down to try to two frame him, but it's really hard to do that against Belmont. He's able to survive, but he needs to get this edge guard with that Nair. Great idea, just wrong ex execution. And he's up close, so this might be a down throw or a forward throw. That Holy Water at the ledge waits it out, and Nitro unaware. He's gonna be able to make safe right Here comes the Holy Water once again, up special. He caught it on the platform, so he's gonna go for that down throw. Almost got the fair follow up, but the F tilt's not safe on shield at that range. So Chuck taking the stock, but it's at 72%. This is Palutena after all. Yeah, and after that factor, we're going to have to see how he plays neutral once again. He was in disadvantage or advantage for most of that first and second stock. So once these are reset, that F smash is gonna be early damage onto Nitro, and at 30%, had the opportunity to lead shot him. Uh -huh, but this time he's able to finally get back onto the center stage. This is what Chag was worried about. And needs to find some way to force his Belmont in disadvantage. Gets clips him out with the Nair in the back. You're calling it out as more. And he used the air dodge. Nitro gets his stock taken. Great job by Chag. Yeah, Nitro buried his jump early. And some of these platform and float cancels from Palutena will not only put pressure onto Nitro, but also reflect some of his crosses back as well. If he can return to sender the projectiles, that might rattle him. He's gonna go ahead and reflect that first boomerang, but Nitro, knowing that he sure is at disadvantage, but he just needs to perfectly space out that a back air of some sort. A tipper surely at this will kill, but Chag forcing him off the stage once more. His Nair is actually being such a big threat, and he's gonna get to get away with it, but no sweet spot on the back air, but the axe finds its mark. Chag surely was not expecting that one to hit. Yeah, Nitro has just played this matchup with Jump Steady one too many times to not know what Palutena exactly was looking for in that situation. Grabs the Holy Water and sends it back, but Shog will be on the offensive without it. Mm -hmm. Some of the return to the sender, but here comes the up out of shield. It's a saving grace of the Belmonts in their disadvantage, but if you miss it, you can spell disaster, and we've seen Nitro miss a few times, but Chad playing really patiently. It's exactly what he needs, it, but this time he read the fact that Nitro didn't go for the second part of his down tilt. Yeah, interesting, that auto reticle nearly caught him. If it did, it was only pixels off, and without a jump that might have spelled the end for Nitro but thankfully manages to make it back good landing fair but once again in trouble he needs to be really careful he's actually able to roll away from it Chalk was expecting a neutral get up but nothing just yet he actually used a great job using that ledge edge cancel but the back air finds Nitro's back and game number one goes in favor of Chalk Chalk of course such a prodigy he's I believe 18 so I think he goes back to the brawl days though so he can just know this matchup has to learn this matchup. Of course, it's new and ultimate like everyone else, but quick adaptations, reflected those crosses three or four times and played it very well.
Well, here's the thing. Does Nitro stick to Belmont, or does he switch to Joker? Which I he likes to, to imagine it's going to be Joker. I mean, he still had it. Just that Palutin is, is really oppressive. And like we go, Nitro on his blue Joker. Hopefully he's got something, but Chag. This could work against Nitro because I think Jack's played against plenty of Jokers back in Mexico. He has, and he not only that, played against Eon's Joker yesterday in Grand Finals. Didn't narrowly lose out to him, but most of the work Eon did was with Fox. So does have a bit of matchup knowledge and immediate matchup knowledge on hand. A few things to pull from. Of course, Nitro does not play Joker in the same way Eon does. There are differences. And he's very gun heavy, he's very air reliant, and these spot dodgers are constantly being called out and including the up air as well. Chag already with 66, and I was just about to say unanswered, but Arsene back up 11%, only on this pal 10 and perfectly spaced back here. Here it comes. Yeah, the egg on gonna send him back and waited out the reflector. That could have been a punish. Nothing just yet. Really fluid movement by both players, and that's gonna be a punish. Actually, no, unable to find the jump in the back here in time, and he reflects it right back. Nitro in huge trouble right now, because Arsene's running out, and you're gonna have a hell of a hard time killing with Joker. He is, the back air gets him right back off stage. Does not burn the jump early, so did not fall into the quick explosive flame, but another one at close range, not gonna catch him either. Nitro playing very cautious here. That was some trouble right now. It uses the gun at point blank range. Thankfully it's safe, but here comes the jab. He's able to roll around it, knowing that Shag likes to hold a little bit down on these rapid jabs, but here comes the gun down throw and an it. Incredible play by Nitro using these empty hops to force out Chag in these bad situations, but what good is an empty hop when Nair just covers all your options? And another explosive flame will send him off the top, tumbling, so very barely getting the kill, but a kill nonetheless, and Nitro already down a stock. Yep, already down a stock, and it's really hard to pull some stock, especially at that, especially on Joker, and especially when you don't have platforms ahead of you for that up air uh, blender combo or a one hit fair into a running up smash on him to find any of those things right now, because Chag is doing such a good job playing defensively and using his Nair to force out these bad options from Nitro. Yeah, Nitro gonna be juggled up in the air, does have our send coming out, so that is a bit of a saving grace, and does land the AG on. That will protect his return, but this is with down air and up smash, and right back into Palutena's arms. He, he even he expected it to hit, and the down tilt, the after frames just ran out, so Nitro's able to get away with it, and Chag is simply just waiting right now, knowing exactly that he just has to wait out the Arsene. Now the platforms are going away, as will Arsene in just a moment. Does get the down air to up tilt right before it does, and that's some good damage, as Arsene was pretty much expiring seconds later, and he wouldn't have been able to do it. Nitro getting a little bit of damage down, is able to get right back onto the stage. Oh, oh you gotta be careful right there. Third time, you grabbed onto it, and he's gonna go for a down throw into a back confirmed. Great air dodge away. He doesn't take the platform, though. And he gets clipped out. My goodness, Chag is catching out Nitro's jump every single time. Yeah, he just matched it space for space, button press for button press, and now caught into these cycles of Nairs. Arsene gonna come out, but is it too little, too late? Hopefully he's got something down. He needs to go for a hard read. And look at these down airs. Nitro is showing his hand. He wants this stock fast, but oh goodness, Chag is not letting him get it that easily. This time the landing down guns, but Palutena's grab range is just so large. It's among the largest in the game, if not the largest. Does Tetrakarn away the back air though? He's able to get away with it, but Arsene, he just gets the up smash when Arsene runs off. This is definitely doable for Nitro, but Chag is no sleeper. Yeah, Nitro does have this, has an option. It's certainly far from over yet, but if he continues to get into these grab setups that Chag is eagerly throwing out, it may just be. Holds on the ledge for a while, finally picks the down gun as an option to return. He does get the dash tack as well. Barely dodges out the up air as, again, but Chag knew he couldn't get the confirm off. And oh my goodness, that down gun was so risky, but the Arsene is coming back soon. Nitro, if he wants a chance, he's got to get it right now. Arsene will be out very short. <laughs> he'll be out right now, but Shog's Palutena is looking very clean, and even with 40% taken, just can afford to take some more damage before he kills. But Oh, great empty hop. It was a great Tomahawk called out right there. Nitro's last saving grace of this is running out of time. He's got to get something down. He's so desperate for a hit, but Anair surely won't let him get anything. He's barely alive, though, Nitro. Arsene ran out, it's gonna buy him a little bit of more time. Oh. But does get him back off stage with the bear. If Nitro can get an early kill, does not have the capability to spike him with a downer because Arsene is gone, but 
If he can get a back air on top of the platform, that can kill at about 85%, but the Nair will not even afford him the opportunity. Shog with a quick 2-0 over the number 10 player in SoCal. Yeah, Nitro, it seemed like, I don't know, his Belmont just got overwhelmed and was able to get some things down on the